one of the most common insects that I will see in my vegetable garden during the warm season in the summer is the leaf footed bug. It is very similar and related to the stink bug, all right? So don't step on this guy. One of the things that this insect will do is it will suck juices from your fruits and some of your plants. I see it a lot on the long beans, the cucumbers, the tomatoes, some of the squash. And even here in this example, it's gonna be my southern peas. I think one of the best and easiest controls for these guys, along with encouraging biodiversity in the garden and attracting beneficial insects and predatory insects to keep them under control, would be throwing them in a big bucket of soapy water. Generally, I don't measure the soap when I'm using this technique because it's not gonna be sprayed directly on the plant, so the concentration level just needs to be enough so that it's gonna kill the insects. I'm not gonna be able to get rid of them altogether, and I'm okay with that. There's a balance in the organic vegetable garden, and that's what I'm trying to achieve. What I found here was a big cluster of these little baby leaf-footed bugs, and I'm gonna sacrifice a whole leaf. So here's a good example of a way that you can help control the population of leaf-footed bugs in your garden. Don't let these little suckers get the best of you guys. Most likely, you're only gonna see a little cosmetic damage on your fruit. They're not really gonna do any significant damage that's gonna take out things all together. It's all about the balance in the organic vegetable garden. It does take a little courage to get out here and hand pick these guys and throw them in this soapy water, but if you got a good pair of gloves and you get up real early in the morning, I'm talking about like 6.37, about daybreak, these insects won't be moving as quickly. They'll still be warming up, getting active for the day. You can sneak up on them real easy. If you have any intrepidation at all about dealing with insects in the garden, that would be a great time to do it first thing real early in the morning. So let's recap our tips for controlling leaf-footed bugs in the vegetable garden in an organic fashion. You're gonna need some soap, true soap y'all, S-O-A-P, make sure that's on the bottle. We're not gonna use the detergent here. The concentration can vary a bit, on the stronger side, no problem. About a tablespoon per gallon. Next step is you're gonna make sure you wear some gloves when you do this. If you're gonna handle any of, the, any of these insects, you might need to take some off the plant and throw them in the bucket. You, sometimes you can just rake them off the vegetables or the leaves. Sometimes you can bat them in there. Make sure you got a pair of gloves. Protect yourself, all right? Some of these insects have defense mechanisms and you don't really wanna find out what they are. Next tip would be get out here real early in the morning, folks. Just as the sun is coming up, that will be the time these insects are least active. All right, one last tip I would throw in would be just be proactive, be observant in the garden. You should be out here every day observing for insects or diseases, and you'll see the little outbreaks. But regardless, you're gonna wanna spend more time out in the garden anyway. What the heck you doing out here with all this stuff, all right? Come out pretty frequently and see what's going on. Make sure you cut things off of the past, and keep it organic.